Good day. Uh, my name is Don Tipping. I'm here at Siskiyou Seeds in our propagation greenhouse and I wanted to share a few uh, tips for guidance on what you could be planting right now. We're in a bit of a transition time in between the spring cool season crops of the greens and the roots and the warm season crops where here in Oregon it's too cold still to be planting things like corn and melons and squash outside but you could be starting some of them inside so we've been getting a few questions through email and at the market and stuff of people planting cucumbers outside and they're saying my seeds aren't coming up and i wanted to share this idea of soil temperature so for all the cool season crops they can germinate in cool soils down to about 40 degrees fahrenheit they can still grow in warmer soils lettuce would be an exception of about 70 degrees lettuce is not going to germinate very well so all your greens they like growing in the cooler weather so lettuce cabbage arugula spinach swiss chard chinese cabbage there's a bunch of other ones broccoli cauliflower that type of thing kale and your root crops they like to grow in the cool weather of the spring or in the fall is when you get the best quality on your root crops. They will grow through the summer, but it, you're, they're gonna do better if you start them in the spring. And then peas would be a fruiting crop that you can plant in the spring or the fall, but they don't really do well in the heat of the summer. So moving on to the warm season crops, these are crops that are, they can frost if you plant them outside. So not only will they, do they need warm temperatures to sprout, they also need warm temperatures to grow because for instance corn uh, and squash for that matter these are crops that originated in Mesoamerica so they're used to a subtropical climate so they want to sprout and keep growing in warm weather so here in the temperate latitudes like here we're at 42 degrees north latitude and we have to wait until the soil and the air temperature is warmed up and obviously the air temperature influences the soil temperature so consider like today is a, a nice balmy day it's probably 70 degrees outside but at night it gets down to the high 30s or around 40 so if you average those out 12 hours of each your soil temperature is not going to be anywhere near warm enough to sprout these things so you want to think about that a, a quick a hack that you can employ Let's say you really want to get a jump start on things and you can look over here. This is a little trick we use is we'll start corn. This is an early planting of sweet corn in soil blocks and you can see it's already sprouting. We didn't have any supplemental heat other than the sun to get these to sprout. Um, another one would be this basil. You know, so we're growing starts of the basil here inside because it's a little warmer here and it protects them from frost. For us, we want to wait until after late May to be planting any of the frost hardy crops either in the ground or transplanting outside. And that is pretty much over most of the northern parts of the United States. And you got to check your local climate. Uh, Memorial Day weekend is a bit of the, the green light time for when you can get your garden in. So check around with your neighbors, the experienced gardeners, and find out what the local planting date is for your area. But I notice that we get warm days and a lot of novice gardeners are just ready to plant everything and then they're frustrated at their, their poor results and they'll blame the seed or something. They'll say slugs got my, um, my plants or my seeds when the, the actuality of it all was that the soil temperature was too cool and their seeds rotted in the ground. So hopefully that helps you out and you're able to be more successful with growing more of your own food. Thanks.